Hi, I'm Tim. I was born in 1952. I'm 58. I'm a gay man. I'm also a gay man in a heterosexual marriage, which has been lucky. I fell in love with my wife and I married her. Love doesn't respect sexual orientation. That's one key thing to recognise. But this is about it getting better. When I was 13, I was at school and I fell in love with a boy that I thought was the most beautiful creature in the world. It's the standard gay kid falls in love with straight kid, doesn't know how to tell him thing. I kind of obsessed with, over him all of my life. Eventually that got better. But when I was 17, I was outed very cruelly over another boy. One of my school friends found out that I fancied him. Well, lusted after him. Maybe even loved him. He wrote in big purple letters that I loved him. He wrote it inside the walls of the study in the house room where we were. He wrote it for all to see. And he wrote it while I was sitting there thinking, I want to kill you. I did want to kill him. I had to sit there and I had to laugh as though it were funny as he ripped my heart out. He thought it was funny. I laughed. I used to cycle to school, it was a five mile trip to school, and that night on the way home I was looking over my shoulder, choosing which wheels of which truck to swerve under. I didn't do it. That's pretty obvious really. I'm sitting here, I'm making a video for you to tell you that it gets better, but that wasn't the day it got better. It didn't get better the next day either when I covered up the graffiti with pictures cut out from magazines. It didn't get better for the fact that nobody mentioned it again in school. It didn't even get better for the fact that that was the only serious incidence of bullying that I ever experienced for being gay. It got better, finally. When I came out of denial, I didn't believe I was gay. I simply thought I loved one beautiful young man and lusted after, well, actually many, many more. It got better, finally, when I was 48. It took me that long to say to myself, Tim, you are a gay man, and I can stand up proud and say, I am a gay man. It took until last year in 2009 for me to be able to walk proudly in a gay pride parade. They're important things, pride parades. It gets better the minute you admit to yourself that you're gay, and the minute you realise that no one can hurt you anymore. It gets better when you don't listen to the bullies, but you listen to your own heart. I could have made it better by not obsessing over the boy that I loved. I could have done that in 1970 when I saw him last. I could have said to him, I love you. And he could have responded by hitting me on the nose, which would have been horrible, but actually fine. It does get better. You need to disregard all the bullies. You need to disregard everybody who says that's so gay. It gets better because once you get through school, you can leave home and you can reinvent yourself. I should have reinvented myself at university, but I didn't. Would you believe in 1972, the Gay Liberation Front annual conference came to my university and I was present, but I wasn't part of it because I was in denial too much. Even if you don't come out to other people, come out to yourself. The day you come out to yourself, you start to take control of your life and you start to live as you should be and you start to be the best you that you can be. I'm 58. I could have killed myself at 17. I've had a damn good life so far. I expect to grow old disgracefully. I'm going to carry on having fun. And I happen to be in a heterosexual marriage, which was nothing I ever expected. But then, so many of my generation are in heterosexual marriages and not all for love. Stop hiding to yourself. It gets better. It will always get better.